guide in this video. We're going to look at part 8 to the mixed review for the ATIT's math. This material is similar to the problem found uh, number 17 in the mathematics sections quiz of the ATIT study manual. And what we have here is an example that deals with the metric system and the standard measuring system. So Shay is ordering a square table from another country outside of the United States. The specifications of the table say that one side is 1.5 meters. Knowing that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch, what is the length of the side of the table in feet and inches? So this metric measurement here, 1.5 meters, what Shay is interested in, she wants to know what is that length in feet and inches. So we, she knows, or let's suppose that she knows that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write that down, 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Now, before we can convert the metric system to the US measurement system, which is inches and feet and things like that, we gotta take this 1.5 meters and convert it to centimeters first. Because notice we have meters and centimeters. You have to be very careful when you read these types of questions to make sure you're in the same units of measurement. So, uh, a common acronym thing or whatever that I think of when dealing with metric measurements is the following. King, Henry, drinks, ucky, dark, chocolate, milk. Now, this will allow you, I have a video over at my website that talks about several examples of applying this, but this is kilo, hecto, deca, the unit, deci, centi, and milli. Now, the centi stands for centimeter. It can also stand for centigram, centiliter. And then this U stands for the unit that we're dealing with. In this case, it's, we're dealing with meters. Uh, but we could be dealing with grams or liters. And this same thing still applies. I encourage you to go check out that other video I have over at my website uh, underneath the ATIT's math section. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take 1.5 meters. That is the unit because we don't have a kilometer. We don't have a decimeter or anything. We have a plain old meter. So that's the unit. And what we want to do first of all is convert that to centimeters. So centimeters is right here. So take what you're given. You're given 1.5 meters and we want to figure out how many little places we have to go to get to centimeters. So we're starting at the unit. 1.5 meters, and we're gonna move one, two places to the right. Well, what we're gonna do up here with our 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, that's the unit, we're going to move that decimal two places to the right, and that's going to convert it to centimeters. This is a little shortcut that you can use when converting amongst the metric system of measurement. Um, this will work for kilo, hecto, deca, the unit, deci, centi, and milli. So therefore, if we move this decimal here two places to the right, we're gonna have 150 centimeters. I'm just taking that decimal, I'm bumping it two places to the right, that's why we have to add a zero. So using this now, we can actually set up a proportion over here with this 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. We can now say, okay, well, we know we have a 150 centimeter uh, side length, which is the same thing as 1.5 meters. Well, now we can figure out how many inches that's going to be equal to. So we're using some conversions. Now we're going to use a proportion to convert our metric to a U.S. measurement. And just like any proportion, we can cross, multiply, and divide. So 2.54 times X is 2.54X. Cross multiplying the other way, 150 times one is 150. And again, at this point in the game, you probably, if you've been watching a lot of my tutorials on proportions, I just say, hey, multiply the two numbers that you can multiply together, and then we divide by the number that's getting multiplied by X. And essentially, that's what we're gonna do right here. We're going to divide by 2.54 to get the X by itself. So doing that on the calculator, 150, divided by 2.54, that's equal to 59.055, blah, 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 blah. Well, if we round this to the nearest inch, I mean, that's pretty close to 59 inches. So we're just gonna go ahead and say here that X is pretty close to 59 inches. So therefore, one meter, um, 
is equal to or pretty close to 59 inches. So that's the length in inches. Now, we also want to know feet. Well, probably, and what you're going to see on a common question that you may see on the T's test is going to be, well, what is 59 inches if we break it up into its feet and its inches? Well, what we're going to do here is we got to think about, well, one way to approach it is that if you know that 12 inches are in a foot, um, let's just add up a couple of 12s. I'm going to add up four of them. Um, every time I add up a 12 here, this is one foot. So 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches. That's 48 inches. So right now, 48 of these 59 inches, that's going to be four feet, right? Now, if I add an additional 11 inches, what's that going to be equal to? 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 plus 1 is 5. So there's our 59 inches in all. And this is a way that you can think about breaking it up into its feet. Well, why did I do these 12s again? 1 foot, 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet. So 4 feet. And then the additional 11 inches is going to be how it breaks up. That 59 inches, I'm breaking it up into its 12 inch pieces. And I stopped at four because if we had went a fifth foot, if we had went one more of these 12s, we would have been at 60, which would have been over the 59 inches. So that's where I had that extra 11 left over. Now what's a mathematical way that we can do this? On the calculator, we can take the 59 inches and we can divide it up and see how many 12s go into 59. Well notice, four point blah, 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 blah. So 12 can go into 59 only four times with some remainder. That's essentially what we're doing here, except now I'm applying a division piece to this. So if we take the how many times that 12 can go into 59 as a whole, that's 12 times four. Notice we get the 48. So that four represents four of these 12s, which is where we get the four feet from. And then since that gives us 48, if we find the difference between the 59 and the 48, there's 11 additional inches left over. That's where that 11 inches comes from. So we almost have five feet. 1.5 meters is doggone close to five feet because it's four feet, 11 inches. So coming over to Google to show you this, we had 1.5 meters initially given to us. So you can go to Google and type in meters to feet. And notice 1.5 meters is approximately 4.92126 feet. Well, let's take inches and let's type in 59 inches. Notice that's not exactly the same, but it's still 4.9, right? I mean, the, all these measurements represent roughly the same thing. We started off with 1.5 meters. We converted that to 150 centimeters. Let me show you that. Here's 150 centimeters. Notice we're still getting 4.9-ish feet. If I convert this to inches instead of the feet, well, notice that's that answer that we got at the beginning. 150 centimeters, same thing as 1.5 meters. We converted that to inches. So I'm trying to get you to see all these relationships here, how even though we have different words, centimeters, meters, inches, feet, if we do the correct conversion, and a lot of cases if you do a proportion, you can get the exact same measurement in another unit of measurement. And there you have it. That is part eight, uh, doing some basic conversions between the metric and the U.S. measurement system and also doing some proportions. And again, I encourage you to check out this King Henry Drinks Ucky Dark Chocolate Milk. You can go to the ATIT's page over at my website and it's going to be underneath the additional videos section. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.